Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for notification of up and coming videos. Today, I am going to be talking about the Marutu hooks. In particular, the range of circle hooks that we do. A little bit of history about it, just quickly off the top of my head. Um, Marutu were first designed in 1892 in a town called Tojo, Japan. So it is Japanese steel that they use. It's a high quality Japanese steel that they use for manufacturing Marutu hooks. In this one I'm going to be talking about the competition circle hook as well as the, the more commercially used ones for heavier duty fishing. So the range wise our competition hook is a 9354R. It is a 9354R. This is the thinner gauge circle hook compared to our thicker gauge which is a 348 okay so they look the same the only difference is one is a lot thinner why a thinner hook versus a thicker hook okay so a thinner hook will obviously penetrate the jaw or the mouth uh, a lot easier than a thicker hook obviously a thicker hook you can pull a lot harder um, it's a lot stronger Okay, so just remember that when we're talking about these hooks. So, obviously a Japanese hook. Japanese guys do it slightly different to us. They start off with the smaller size, being a size 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and a 24 is their marking for the biggest hook that they do. Okay, so they work slightly different. Obviously, the European market, our market, we work slightly different. We use the smaller number, which is a 1-0, to the biggest being an 8 -o. So, here we go. 1 -0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, 7-0. And, of course, an 8 being our biggest hook. Um, just slight differences there compared to the Japanese and the way we do it. Just to go through the shape and... Whether it be the 348s or the 9354Rs, um, the, the shape stays the same. I'm just going to use the big hook so you can see. Okay, so what it is, is a standard circle hook shape with a slight change in it to a, a J shape. So you can see it comes through with a J shape. The only difference with the J shape is we end up putting a little bit more of a bend in the tip. So it's now a circle hook. We snell the hook. So in other words, snell is just a way of tying our line, braid, or wire to it. So just if you want to see how to do a snell knot, top right hand side corner will take you to tying knots. And you can see how we snell our circle hooks. Okay, so again, J shape as well as a circle shape in the same hook. Another difference is these hooks are slightly offset, 15 degrees. So basically from the point, if it was straight in line, it would be there, we slightly turn it. The reason we turn or offset our circle hook is so that it actually rotates better in the mouth. So when you get the bite, the hook can actually turn and sit better when coming or being pulled out of the fish's mouth. So it actually, the fish inhales it, and as it comes, the hook will turn and find that, sp that um, soft spot in the mouth, on the jaw. So basically, it's just the style that the Japanese use, and I tell you what, it is absolutely phenomenal how well this hook actually sits. Now again, everyone talks about circle hook, you've got to let the fish eat, you don't hit. With the Mutsu style hook, you can hit, guys. I promise you now. The minute you feel the fish pulling down on it, swat. So for those older guys that aren't convinced about circle hooks and like a J-hook, 
He has a hook that even the bullies can use. You go down, you hit. You feel the fish biting, hit. Um, you'll be surprised how many fish you actually hook. Um, for us younger generation, that are like and allow our fish to go down slowly and you just set the hook by just leaning into it, again, the mutsu is ideal for that. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a complementary range here, starting off at the smallest hooks, which would be our size um, 18s over here. Now, the 18 basically um, is a style ideally suited to things like Carantine. Um, it's a lovely little hook for those small mouth fish. You can also use it for carp fishing if you want. Not ideal, but it does work for carp. And as we go through the sizes, um, the size 12s, the size 12s are ideally suited to blacktail um, and the 14. So blacktail, uh, wildepard, stuff like that. There's the hook best suited for that style of fish, as well as your stone bream. There's the, the, the two hooks that I recommend you look at for those fish. Obviously, we go on to our, uh, what have we got here, 16s and 18s, and it just becomes bigger, more for the bigger rockfish that we get. And once we start going on to the 20s and 22s, it becomes more your fish like your lanterns, um, and 24s being almost a hook that we would use for smaller grey, smaller sharks. But again, softer hook, ideal for lessers. Um, just a softer hook, sharper hook, it'll set easier for most of those fish. Heavier duty hook, again, we'll start off with a small 1-0s, 2-0s and 3-0s. That'll catch the same fish as our uh, um, 20s and 22s, but just a lot stronger. So you can pull a lot faster and a lot harder on it. Obviously, 3-0s, 4-0s become our lesser hooks. And once we go into our 5-0s, 6-0s, it becomes more now into our shark fishing, our skate fishing, our blue rays, our brown skate, stuff like that. And go all the way up to our 8-0s that we use for our diamonds. One of the best diamonds hooks I've ever used, guys. Um, ideal for diamonds. I've got a whole, lot of, a whole pile of honeycombs on it. It is a brilliant, brilliant hook for those uh, flatfish. So yeah, so there's a, a range all the way through for the edible fish into our skates. Um, other than that, like I said, snell the hook. It is absolutely brilliant. We like to dangle it. We put a dangle on it. You can throw it further. It's a brilliant all-round hook. Now this is only our circle hook range that we're looking at at the moment. The range will increase, obviously, into our ski boat, our tuna fishing, our more commercial hooks. Um, there is fly hooks available. There are carp hooks available. But I'm going to leave the carp hook versions to Gilbert to talk about. And I know very shortly he'll be doing some uh, little um, YouTube channels on the carp fishing versions of the Maruta hooks. So there we go, guys. The new Marutu is available from Kingfisher as well as leading tackle stores nationwide.